Hi guys, I'm Alex. And I'm Brent. And this is uh, Lift Off and Travel. And today we're going local. We are going to stay at a loft hotel, Birmingham. Cool, let's go have a look. A loft Birmingham is between 10 and 20 minutes walk from Birmingham Moor Street Station and the ball ring, depending on how long your legs are. And next to Aston University and Birmingham City University. This door probably needs some oil. Once inside, what a lovely and well-designed space to welcome you. If you're too early to check in, or simply waiting for a friend or a colleague, there is plenty of seating available. There's also a quick stop cafe called Refuel, clever, at the very back. What a beautiful reception. A loft is part of the Marriott Group in their distinctive range, along with AC Hotels and Moxie. Chicken staff were so friendly and welcoming, and we had some good banter. The lady even joked about having a pool table in the bar, which we found amusing. And that's where we're heading next. We didn't actually use the bar, but a little bit like the Moxie in Edinburgh, this felt like a fun and trendy place for a drink in the evening. And here's the pool table. Such a nice addition, and best of yet, free. Mystical Magic 8 Ball, will we enjoy our stay? Speaking of enjoyment, if you're enjoying the video so far, please help us by subscribing and liking below. Many thanks. Let's go check out the room. The lift music, by the way, is pretty good. There are about 266 rooms in total, and we are staying on the fifth floor. Just remember it's Birmingham, not Rio de Janeiro, so don't expect particularly exciting views out of the window. This is our room for tonight, 543. Oh dear, let's try the other key. Ooh, thank God. What a beautiful room. Oddly, the first thing it catches our attention is that really vibrant carpet. I will just point out that we paid for a guest room with a king bed, but because I have Marriott Gold status, we were upgraded for free to a larger guest room with two doubles. Lovely. When you first come into the room, there's this nice long desk for working with a comfortable green chair. Closest to the TV, you'll find this adjustable desk lamp, a USB, a UK plug socket, Ethernet, and a European plug. The TV is pretty generous at 55 inches in this pretty and pink surround. The remote control can be found below. To the left of the desk, you'll see the temperature control. As you can see, I have no idea what I'm doing. On the other side, you'll find a well-stocked coffee station, which includes a posh Nespresso machine. This seems to be a common feature with different married chains, except for Moxie. Plenty of UHT milk and these branded mugs. Below the coffee station, you'll find a lockable safe and a fridge with two complimentary Harrogate bottles of water. And above, you'll find a hairdryer and a copy of the Bible. To the left, you'll find a sliding door for the cupboard. With two bathrobes, a few hangers, and some additional towels above. Under the TV, there's also an ottoman, although it only sit on the left side as it's padded. If you want the larger room, you'll have to opt for two double beds. Below this is the standing king, and above is the suite. The beds are extremely comfortable, so comfortable, I didn't get back up for a while. After a power nap, what a weird coincidence that this was playing on the TV when I got back up. Nature calls, so it's a good time to inspect the bathroom. It's not the best in the world, but it looks extremely comfortable, modern and clean. Some lovely amenities here, including body lotion, a bar of soap, two glasses and two flannels. And hidden behind are some decent tissues. There is a posh flush mechanism and towels are stored above. With only one place to hang them, why is it not two or three? There's a lovely single glass door to the shower. Hmm, I wonder how many people have turned the shower on not realising the floor mat is inside. The textured wall was a really good idea, not just another boring neutral wall. And for the lowest category hotel, it's nice to see a rainfall shower, even if it is on the small side. 
You get shower gel, shampoo and conditioner. And I think the little hairdryer logo is cute. Speaking of amenities, there's also an ironing board and an iron. I also had zero complaints with the towels and they're a really good size. Before we go out for food, we'll check out the view. As I said before, it's not amazing, but I'm just pleased it's not the back of a building or the dumpsters. I have no intention of using it, but there's a gym based on the first floor. You'll need your room key to access it. As is standard with Marriott Hotels, there is plenty of different varieties of equipment. No idea what these are, but they were far too heavy. Quite hungry, we're heading off into Birmingham for some food at Grand Central. We're back in the room. Time to charge our phones, watch the TV, have another cup of tea, and then it's off to sleep. Both slept really well. Room temperature was excellent, and the beds were firm but soft. How was our stay? Firstly, this isn't the most central hotel to tourist attractions. This could be a reason not to stay here. We found the pricing very competitive. And when you combine this with the facilities, the design, and how friendly the staff are, we'd definitely stay here again. It ticks all the boxes for being clean, comfortable, a good sized TV, and warm with great amenities. Description and details for the room we stayed in are below. Thanks for watching.